In this video, I'm going to show you how to make this beanie style hat. This one is for a size seven to 10 years. And in addition to your yarn, you will need a 5.5 millimeter crochet hook. For round one, we're going to do a magic circle. So wrap the yarn around your fingers, reach through, bring up your loop, chain one to secure your yarn. And now we're going to do eight single crochet into that magic circle. There's two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And now you'll grab that tail, give it a pull, and that will close up the hole. Place your stitch marker, and at this point, you should have eight stitches. For round two, we're going to do one increase in each stitch all the way around. So for your increase, you'll go into the stitch, do one single crochet, go back into the same stitch for another single crochet. That is an increase. And now you'll continue to do one increase in each stitch all the way around. And when you come to the end of this round, you should have a total of 16 stitches. For round three, we're going to do a repeating sequence of one single crochet, followed by one increase. And you'll continue to repeat one single crochet and one increase. And at the end of this round, you should have a total of 24 stitches. For round four, we're going to do one single crochet in each stitch all the way around. When you come to the end of this round, you should still have 24 stitches. For round five, we're going to do a repeating sequence of one single crochet, followed by one increase. And you'll continue to repeat one single crochet and one increase. And at the end of this round, you should have a total of 36 stitches. For round six, we're going to do one single crochet in each stitch all the way around. And when you come to the end of this round, you should still have 36 stitches. For round seven, we'll do a repeating sequence of two single crochet, followed by one increase. And you'll continue to repeat two single crochet and one increase. And at the end of this round, you should have 48 stitches. For round eight, we're going to do one single crochet in each stitch all the way around. And when you come to the end of this round, you should still have 48 stitches. For round nine, we're going to do a repeating sequence of three single crochet, followed by one increase. And so you'll continue to repeat three single crochet and one increase. And at the end of this round, you should have a total of 60 stitches. For round 10, we're going to do one single crochet in each stitch all the way around. And when you come to the end of this round, you should still have 60 stitches. For round 11, we're going to do a repeating sequence of five single crochet followed by one increase. 
there's two, three, four, five, and then one increase. And you'll continue to repeat five single crochet and one increase. And at the end of this round, you should have a total of 70 stitches. For round 12, we're going to do one single crochet in each stitch all the way around. And when you come to the end of this round, you should still have 70 stitches. For round 13, we're going to do a repeating sequence of 13 single crochet followed by one increase. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, and then one increase. And so you'll continue to repeat 13 single crochet and one increase. And at the end of this round, you should have 75 stitches. For rounds 14 through 30, we're going to do one single crochet in each stitch all the way around. And when you come to the end of round 30, you should still have 75 stitches. When you're ready to add the border, we're going to remove the stitch marker. And this was the final stitch of the round. I'm going to pull that loop out and just leave these two loops on my hook. Now we're going to grab the white yarn and pull that through those two loops to finish that stitch. Next, we'll do one slip stitch into the next stitch and chain one. And for the border, we're going to do a reverse single crochet, also known as a crab stitch. You'll continue to hold the hat the same way you have been, but instead of working your stitches in this direction, we're going to work the stitches going in the opposite direction. So to do this, you're going to take your hook and go into the previous stitch. Bring up your loop, grab your yarn, and then pull through those two loops. And that's it. So move to the next stitch. Go into the stitch, bring up your loop, grab the yarn, pull through two. Move to the next one. Into the stitch, grab the yarn, bring up your loop, pull through two. And so you're going to continue to do this all the way around until you get back to where you started. And here I've worked my way all the way around. I'm back to where I started. So I'm going to do my final stitch here where that white yarn begins. Oops. And then to finish the hat, I'm going to do a slip stitch. And I'm going to bring my hook in from behind the stitch and do the slip stitch that way and tie off and voila. I cut the yarn and don't forget to cut the colored yarn. And this hat is now finished. All you have left to do is weave in those ends and don't forget about this one that you had when you started the hat. And so there it is, that is the finished hat.